hey y'all welcome back to my channel today is another hair video so today i'm doing my best friend's hair i already shampooed her blew her out did a braid down and lay down her edges so now i'm going in with a cap to put it on top of her head so we can do the ball cap method i'm going in and cutting off the ear tabs and spraying it got to be glue spray on her head y'all she hates this part so much but it gotta be done so spraying that down then i'm gonna go in with my blow dryer to smooth it out and dry it out but there's no drug around i like what i found you you i still can't feel my face what am i smoking anyway Okay, so the cap is now dry around the edges and I'm going in to cut off the excess of it. And as I'm doing this, I try to cut as close as possible to the hairline so it can mimic basically the hairline of her head. I went ahead and cut the front and now I'm cutting the back as y'all see I threaded the back so I can make sure that the cap is secured and not lifting once the wig is on and this is what it looks like so now I'm going in with my ruby kiss applying the foundation that is closer to her skin tone putting that all around her hairline so it can match well with the wig and once I'm done adding that one, I put foundation on the wig and then I'm gonna go in and start applying the wig. I also like to add the foundation on the outside of the wig just to give it more of the color look. Like, it's never enough foundation that you could put on the wig. So. Apply, apply, apply as much foundation as you could on the front and the back. Now I'm going in to cut off the extra lace around her ears. And then I'm going to push the wig back and start applying ghost bond glue to the cap. And I do a good three layers of this so I can make sure the wig is secure for a decent amount of time. For the pain, for the pain. Okay, so now the three layers are dry and I'm going in to uh, basically secure the wig down. So I'm going to start from the middle and comb it down, then work my way on both sides to press down the lace on her head. And you guys are going to see her um, blowing out this bundle that she want me to put in her head. So don't mind that. So once I'm done securing the lace on her head, I'm going to go in with my elastic band to secure it even more like i want to make sure that this wig is giving scalp once i take the wig band off okay so once the wig band is on i'm putting some wax stick on her hair to basically just push her hair back making sure that it's molded it's just no flyaways and making sure everything is in place so once I do that with the hot comb, I'm going to start sewing in this pink hair. She wanted a few like highlights in her hair. So <clears throat> just adding a few extra tracks to the wig to add a signature look to the style. Okay, 
Okay, so now that the tracks are added in, now I'm going in to take out the excess lace of the wig. Um, <clears throat> I'm doing like a zigzag type of cut, up and down, up and down, and just giving more of a natural type of look. So I'm going to do this on both sides, and then I'm going to add a little more foundation to the lace to give it more of a natural look. Okay, so I went ahead and put the elastic band back on because now we're about to start styling. So, y'all, I'm doing the trendy crisscross braid look on her head. So, I'm going in and sectioning off both sides. It's looking like I'm doing like a half up, half down. I'm sectioning the middle of the frontal off from the sides. And then I'm going to be doing like two little small braids on both sides. And then I'm going to do a small braid in the middle. Now with this, y'all, I'm not going to lie. I had to concentrate because I had to be very light and not too heavy handed on doing these small braids on both sides because this is a lace wig. This isn't coming from her scalp. So y'all know with a lace wig, it can easily like snap off. So I was just being very careful, very aware, and, and just staying really focused. So I went ahead and did both sides. And now I'm sectioning off the middle and hot combing it so I could do the braid down. Okay, so I have went ahead and added all three of my braids in. So now I'm going to start doing the crisscross braids. So before I begin, I'm gonna go ahead and create my little baby hairs, make sure those aren't added into the braids. So I'm sectioning off the baby hairs first. But once I'm done doing that, I'm going to be creating a cross braids and pulling the hair um, from the inside of the little section that I made basically um, and start creating like little mini braids. And y'all, for me to keep the flyaways from flying out of the braids as I'm braiding down, I just went in with a little edge control. You can do edge control or like a little gel to make sure that the braids are secure. So I'm going down, all the way down and just seeing how far they are. And y'all, I'm doing three different sections of braids. So y'all see I did three braids on one side and then I did the other three on the other side. So now this middle section of hair, I'm just gonna hot comb it, put a little wax stick on the hair to make sure that it's molded really well. And then I'm gonna start off just sectioning that part first and then go in with the other side and do another section. But once both sides are molded really well and flat, I'm gonna combine them together to be just one ponytail. Get it back, you pick it up, put it back. Now something like the chemist on campus, but there's no drug around. But like what I found in you, you. I still can't feel my face. What am I smoking anyway? She said, don't let the high go to waste. Can you taste it? Little taste. Now I'm going in to crisscross the braids from one side to the other. And the way I secured it, um, I went in, I tried to do the bobby pin method and yeah, it didn't work. So I ended up using two small rubber bands on both sides and just end up pulling a piece from the middle of the hair to tie it along with that so the hair can hide it later. So did that. Now I'm going in to wrap around the ponytail so we can hide the rubber band and y'all it's coming together real cute real fine like, 
and off camera I went ahead and gave her some cramps so just give it a little bit of style I didn't really want to put curls in her so I'm just pushing back the baby hairs and then I'm going in with my makeup brush to add more foundation to the lace so it could really blend good with her skin tone so then now I'm just creating the baby hairs and adding curls to the baby hairs so it can be easier for me to position how I want them to be. And then I'm going to go in with some gel and basically mold it into that shape I wanted. Okay, so once I'm done with all of that, this is how the hairstyle ended up coming out. It was really beautiful. This was different. It's trending right now, and I think I did really good. I love how the quality of the braids came out and just how all the whole style came together. So, period. This is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.